Hi, we're playing this game called I can afford an expensive camera, but I can't afford lighting. It's a race against the sun. This is a semi price line haul slash first impressions because my first impressions seem to be the most popular. Okay, so Models Prefer is a price line only brand and they have foundations that have a range of colors from like very, very, very pale to very, very, very deep. The problem is that they came out with this argan oil, argan infusion natural foundation and I'm kind of disappointed. There's like a couple shades in this and I got nude and I'm pretty sure this may be too light for me but it's better light than dark. And they do have concealers, this is medium. And they have light. And they are not very different to each other, they just didn't have light in stock at the price line I went to so that's why I got medium which it will fit me. I'm the most basic skin colour. And this is the medium powder which the light was too light and the medium was too dark but I have another powder just in case. I'd say it's medium, but why are there only two shades? I'm gonna start by moisturizing. This is the Sukun, the Sukun Night Cream. I like using night cream. If you don't really want to wear a thick moisturizer under your foundation, be my guest. I put less foundation on, more moisturizer on. That It's really up to you. And make sure to put some lip balm on because I can't live without it. This is the Rev Du Mille by Nux. It's a matte, so, I mean, it's as matte as a lip balm can get. If you put matte lipstick on top and stuff like that, you don't have to really rub it off. And the eye cream, um, La Roche-Posay one, which I don't mind spending extra on. It was on sale too, but I don't mind spending extra on skincare because I just don't want to be old. I don't want to look old. I have an obsession with staying young because I turned 20 a couple of weeks ago and I wasn't very happy about that at all. Look at this little look at that. Okay. I will start with my eyebrows. I got them done today. It wasn't my usual lady, so I don't know how to feel. I'm just using the MAC Deep Dark Brunette Fluid Line. It's my favorite. Setting it with L'Oreal Brow Gel. The moisturizer is sunk in. This is, I found this at Rimmel. I don't know if it's a new product. It's called Hashtag Insta Fix and Go. It's a two-in-one primer and setting spray. So it can use it as primer and a setting spray. I usually use like Smashbox or I like to use this Goodness Bee Mist Cool Toner. I bought it at Safeway or Woolies. It smells very fresh like nature. It's it's just a toner water, but you can use it as a setting spray if you want. It's not a setting spray, but like be more like a fix plus kind of thing, but it's got it's just really natural, it's um, alcohol free, vegan friendly, uh, water, aloe vera, coconut, chia extract, cucumber, celery, yeah just very like basic like good goodness products so I thought it was really nice so I just use it like, like a fix plus. Because I haven't used it, I'm going to use this as a primer. I'm going to shake it. It smells really, really um, nostalgic for some reason, but it's got a cool like mist. It's like delayed a bit. Can you see that? All right. It's very. It's very. I think I need to be really far. It's still even if you do it from far away, it's like very concentrated in one area. I'm not how much I like that. I don't know. I don't know how much I like that, and the smell is just very alcoholic. Most of most of setting sprays have alcohol in them, which is kind of gross, but it's what keeps it in. Let that sink in. I don't know how to feel about it yet. I'm gonna apply my foundation using the round top brush. So this is this is the Models Prefer Argan Infused Natural Foundation. Um, I assume that I don't know if Models Prefer is cruelty free. I assume it is. I just don't think. So. I think so. I will check. So, what does this claim to do? A breathable, luxurious formulation that combines the natural benefits of 100% pure argan oil with an easily blendable foundation. Now, when I think argan oil, I think hair, so, or Joseph Moran, so, we'll see. Antioxidant rich, 100% pure argan oil containing vitamin E and essential fatty acids is known to assist in restoring the skin's elasticity and to help reduce the signs of aging. So, it's supposed to have skincare benefits while it's putting your makeup on. 
a skin smoothing formulation offering buildable medium to full coverage um, on most skin types, enriched with natural oils, extracts, blah, 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 aloe vera, grapefruit, rosemary, lavender, green tea, and macadamia to nourish the skin without clogging the pores. So it says it's not going to clog your pores. It's supposed to be like, so it's supposed to have argan oil, but it's not supposed to sink into your pores. Okay. Um, also, it claims to have skincare benefits, which I never usually buy into. I'm just going to do it like this because I don't know. And I, yeah, that looks like my color. And it says medium to full coverage. I assume people with oily skin wouldn't want to use it. So far, it's resting on top of the skin really weird. Like, it's one of those, like, $3 foundation. It smells nice, actually. When I did test it in the store, like, my jaw, it was a bit sticky. But that doesn't matter because you powder it down. So, I did put a lot on my brush, so I'm just trying to spread it out as much as I can. Okay. That clung a bit. Okay, this is the side of that foundation. My skin has actually cleared up a bit. Mm, interesting. And this is the side with foundation. The finish looks better. It's sticky. Doesn't cover up these things, so I'm just gonna apply a bit more. Okay, I mean, yeah. It's still there, but... I'm just worried about how much you have to use to get your coverage. Alright, I'm gonna do the other side now. So what I can tell is that it blurs out imperfections. It doesn't diminish them, which... I mean, when it says medium to full, you assume that it would just cover it. I mean, it's not something that I... It's not something that I completely look for. I mean, I know... I don't expect foundations to completely cover everything up. That makes me feel like I'm wearing too much of a mask. But I know that if it's claiming something, it should answer for it. But I don't hate the finish. I really don't. I do feel pale though. But that's just me right now. Like it's, it matches. I, I matched it well to how I am right now, which is the Australian winter. I'm going to go in with the concealer. This is a medium concealer. <laughs> should be like light medium maybe. I will put it on this blemish. It matches the foundation pretty well. This reminds me of the Fit Me. It's a bit more pinky though. Felt like the light was more neutral. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that on there. Or else do I need a spot conceal? Okay, all right, whatever. It's something special. Let's do it under my eyes. I'm not sure if the camera shows, I mean, I think it shows a bit lighter, but it's basically the color of my skin. The place I went, because I went to two price lines and I, it was there in the first one, but I didn't get it. Then I went to another price line and there and they had medium, so I was like, you know what, screw it, let's get medium. If I ever get tan, it could be a highlight color for then, I don't know. I'm going to use a beauty sponge to blend it out. Okay, look, I am mad at it. Those out. Okay, so that's a bit better. It doesn't completely hide it, but it was very, very red. I should have just corrected it, but... I will go over it with some lighter concealer. This is the Maybelline Master... Master Conceal. Just because I want it to be a bit lighter. I really, really like this one, though. This Master Conceal. I want the lighter colour as well in it. But again, they were sold out. I will just put whatever's left on my eyelids. Thighs. I didn't want to get this, but it caught my eye and I was like, I just want to try it. And these are still available because I don't think they were sold. So I'm just going to test it out. This is the Samantha Jade for Eyes by Models Prefer. It is the more neutral tones. Cardboard has these colors in it. It's called Live Sparkle, Sh Live Sparkle Shine, I think. It gives like a little tutorial there, but that's not what I'm here for. These are the colors. No mattes, maybe the black, isn't it? I don't like this pigmentation. The white, no, they're all satin or shimmers. So, I'm going to do a halo eye because that's all I do. <laughs> I mean, the colours intrigue me. But I definitely use some matte colours, so two-faced to the rescue. I will bake, just for the sake of fallout. 
and the lighting is already getting skewed. I'm taking a Zoeva 227 and I'm just taking this nude color here just as a transition. You don't have to do it. I do it because blendability. So tonight I am going to Fitzroy, going to Bimbo's, which has become very, very popular. I remember when I went, it wasn't very popular at all. Um, when I went, I was trying to get into Harp on Queen's Birthday Eve last year, which is, um, I'd say it's like a little pub um, in Q. If you live in Melbourne, you'll know. And um, we waited in line for an hour and we didn't get in. But it's fine. I was like, you know what? Let's go to Bimbo's. It would be my second time there. We got straight into the Bimbo's. The Bimbo's. We got straight into Bimbo's. Like, we didn't have to wait in line. But this year, the Bimbo's line was very, very long. And one of my friends, one of my friends from high school, did like an event there. So people were like, so I'm like, what happened to Bimbo's? Like, I don't know. It's a bit sad, but we deal with it. It's a sign of the times. We're going straight in with black. Let's do it. It doesn't swatch very pigmented, but it's getting packed on my brush okay. Okay, I'm gonna be careful because <laughs> black fall out. Okay. Okay, it doesn't apply shocking. I'll give it that. I don't do first impressions on eyeshadows. I just all I just assume they're all the same to be honest. I actually don't hate that to be honest. I'm then going to take this peachy colour here. By the way, the black shade is called Noir and the peachy shade is called Intimate. I'm going to take that on the other side. This is the brush that came with the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm just going to take that and really carefully buff it in the crest. Just slightly blending out the black. Can you see that? I can't. I don't think... I mean... It's a shimmery colour, I don't know why I'm blending with it, but it's a bit muddy. Well, what was I expecting? I just needed something to help buff that out and I thought this would be nice. We're just going to go back in with the blacks. Then I'm taking this goldy shade here, which is called Diva. I'm going to spray it with some of this goodness on a Real Techniques, whatever this one is called. And applying it in the inner. Oh, damn. Boy. I, <laughs> I, I did not expect that. Obviously, when you wear a shimmer, it comes out pretty good, but I didn't think it would. Okay. Yeah. I am mad. I'm then just going to take this color here, which is called Siesta. Yeah, I'll take Siesta. Take it on the same brush and just kind of melt these two here yeah that works thought it wouldn't intimate again and just going back over the crease and then taking that packing shade which we used on the blacks and just 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 intensifying the most intense part of the blacks great and then taking this is the NYX Glam Aqualux in 7 Nude, I assume. Glam Nude, okay. I bought this the other day, and I think what I'll do is I will line it with a black, where the black is, and then where the nude is, I will line it with the nude, like a halo eyeliner. Okay, so this is this. I haven't used this either. This is all new to me. Oh, where's my new mascara? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. This is the Rimmel Scandalized Perfection Precision Micro Eyeliner. It looks really, really good. I wish this was a bit more flimsy. So I can draw a bit of line. Okay, I mean... I'll cry about it later. The problem with this is that because the tip is so small, you can't... And the little, I'm going to call it the ferrule because I don't know what else to call it. The ferrule is so thick, you can't really see what you're doing. Like when you're lining, because the product itself is actually really, really nice. It's really thin, um, it's black, it's just, you can't really see what you're doing. I'm going to go in with this, I'm just going to go fill it in the gap. Try to ombre it, I mean, as much as I can. Okay, okay. 
Okay, whatever. I mean, I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. I'm starting to like it more now, actually. Hmm. Yeah. I'm starting to like it more. I like it. I'm just gonna go back in with the blacks because they're not that black once you like, compare it to the eyeliner. I'm brushing off the bake. Gonna go in with the Argan Oil Powder. I'll use the same brush. It just looks too dark. Oh, it's okay. It's more sheer anyway, like, can you tell? Like, I mean, you can see it, but whatever. I don't think it's the brush. I just think the foundation is sticky and like, even powder doesn't help, you know? The verdict's still out on this one. I'm gonna just do my highlight points with the Rimmel Complexion Clear Powder. This is another powder I got. Do I try it? These aren't as finely milled as, as I would have hoped. This is in transparent, by the way, so it's probably not gonna have any color at all. I'm gonna go back in with this color, black color. Just copy whatever I did on the top. Gonna do black eyeliner on the waterline on the outside. Nude in the middle, this is my rimmel. That black one was, I don't know. For brow bone, I'm gonna use Blanc. I like this as a, a brow bone color, it's very nice. Also just as the inner corner highlight. Um, for mascara, I'm gonna use the Mega Manga. I haven't tried this before. Thought I would, it was on sale. I don't like this flimsiness. Also, I don't like how clumpy it looks. I don't usually put mascara on before fake eyelashes, but because this is a first impressions, I thought I'd try. I do have a like how it clings to my eyelashes. I was gonna go with trusty Maybelline, but even even because they're like L'Oreal owns Maybelline, I just thought because L'Oreal's a bit more expensive that I would try out some of the L'Oreal mascaras. So it was on sale, so I decided to try this one. Okay, so it, it like holds onto your eyelashes. It's supposed to make them look like anime? Like, is that the point of the manga part? Okay, so it's clumping them off for now. The ones that I don't want to control over there. I will say, however, I think I will learn to enjoy it because it really clings on. The brush really knows how to cling on to the bottom eyelashes without getting them to be messy. So this is a TBC. Goodness. Um, I'm going to put on these like Asian really cheap like one dollar fake lashes that you get like a pack for like a dollar they're good if you don't really want to use your good eyelashes and you just want to you know let's quickly just do some highlighting contouring i'm just going to really do some high highlighting contouring use hula and hourglass and i'll be back the lighting was getting bad so i'm literally using my iphone like i told you i was ghetto and the hourglass highlighter it's very shimmery. Now I'm going to try to put these on. Should I show you how to put these on? Because it's a bit hard. They basically come like this. I don't know where my mom gets them from, but she gets them from somewhere. Okay. I love that deal. I'm going to use my favorite lip liner that I just got. I'm going to use one of my old favorites that I just bought again. This is Addiction by Rimmel. And it's always sold out, so I can never find it. But Rimmel was doing half price and... So I had to rebuy it. So this is Addiction Lip Liner. This is like, I ran out of this when I was trying to get into the Kylie lip phase. Before her lip kits were introduced. And no one really knew what she put on her lips. I just bought Well by MAC after I ran out of this. So I didn't really have a reason for it. And I'm just remembering how nice it is. And why, why it's always sold out. And on top. I don't know. I kind of like it on its own. Kind of like it on its own, but I'm just going to go over it with this Maybelline crayon. I think it's okay. The foundation is still sticky, but let's hope it doesn't move. I mean, I'm going out tonight, so we'll see 
how it goes. I'll see if I can update y'all. I will just go over it with this setting spray. I hope it doesn't cattle spit on me. And yeah, I will do updates hopefully over the night. I just got home. It's 2.06 and I think I did my makeup around 4 or 5. So it's been on for a substantial amount of time. And... I danced, I sweated. Either that setting spray did really well or like, or just my skin just holds foundation well. Okay, so this is the second time I'm wearing this foundation just so you can see. I'm not wearing the powder with it, but I really enjoy the finish. It's very flawless. I really kind of like it. It applies sort of patchy not patchy it applies sort of streaky and silicone-y but oh, it's probably because of the oil in there but then it just it's a sticky so you might need to um mattify it with a mattifying powder i don't know whatever powder you'd like but i mean right now it doesn't feel sticky because i use the rimmel powder i like it Conceal is all right powders eh, but the foundation i'd say is pretty damn good